Hi, I'm Brian with ericksontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss why so many atoms are needed in nitrogen fixation. Um, really what I think this means and what we're getting down to is why is nitrogen fixation so energetically costly? Um, it requires 16 ATP molecules to um, fixate or, or convert one single um, gaseous nitrogen compound, so two nitrogen elements or atoms, um, to ammonia, which is a usable form. So to back up a tiny bit, um, nitrogen is extremely abundant on Earth. It represents about 79% of the Earth's atmosphere, um, and it's essential to life. It's used in a lot of different things. Um, it's an essential component of amino acids. Um, it it's, forms the bases that make up DNA and RNA. It's used in a lot of different biological um, compounds. So it's extremely important, but it's not usable in the form that it's most abundant. So it needs to get fixated or changed from atmospheric gaseous nitrogen, which is N2, to a more usable form, either ammonia or um, nitrate. So um, this is usually done by bacteria. And the process is extremely energetically costly for one main reason. Nitrogen, as it occurs in the atmosphere, is just two nitrogen molecules triple bonded to each other. So there's a whole lot of energy going in to keeping those molecules together. Um, you have to use a lot of energy and, and add a lot of uh, electrons through a, um, a series of reactions that require an enzyme um, to make this reaction happen. It's just it's really hard to separate two nitrogen atoms um, because they're extremely stable. So um, in the process, thankfully, some bacteria and so forth have uh, the enzyme to convert nitrogen gas into um, usable forms. And by using 16 ATP per individual nitrogen, um, nitrogen gets put into the soil, plants are able to use it, and then animals like us, in turn, eat the plants and are able to get the nitrogen that we need. So this has been a brief interpretation of the question, why are so many atoms needed for nitrogen fixation?